the castle Frankenstein is the place where you will learn of Dracula's greatest ambitions. Do not fear, my son. Climb its highest tower. Discover what he uses to power his experiments. You should hopefully remember this place because we were here just a few levels ago, though this time there are new enemies in place. These new enemies wield dual swords and they can be a huge pain unless you figure out how to deal with them. And how you deal with them is with your own melee attacks. We bought an upgrade that allows us to grapple enemies and immediately start a combo on them whenever they reach us. That's insanely useful against these guys. There are a lot of these enemies right here, but they're not all that, uh, numerous throughout the rest of the game. I'm trying to think of other situations where they appear, and not, not too many are coming up. They only have one attack you really need to worry about, and that's a jumping slash. Just dodge out of the way while they're in the air coming down at you, and you should be able to get out of the way in time. Our blades still have no special combos to speak of. You might remember this windmill from earlier where we first met the fell spirits. Now we have our shotgun so we can blow it open. And up here is a half a life increaser. I believe this is the only other time we see this windmill and thus the only opportunity we have to get this thing. In spite of this being one of the longer stages in the game by far, it doesn't exactly have a plethora of those life increasers for some reason. This is one of the worst places you encounter those screeching demons because you barely have any room to maneuver. The same rules apply as always have, it's just you have way less room to dodge their attacks. Thankfully their screech is more vertical than horizontal, but it still has some horizontal reach, so... The best solution is probably to dodge around the corner, but tanking it works just fine, especially since your health bar should be reasonably sized at this point. This part can be a bit difficult for the sheer number of gargoyles they throw at you. As soon as you kill one, another one just pops right back up. When more than one of them start shooting projectiles at you, it's easy to get backed into a corner, which is bad news, because then you have to jump to get out. And jumping doesn't really net you any invincibility frames, unlike your dodge. I think the best strategy is to circle around them and try and keep them in the center in a big pile. They don't generally like to play along with this strategy, but going for it seems to be the best way. The game just spawns so damn many of them. Part of the reason this stage is so much longer than most of the others is because everything comes at you in droves. This whole level always seemed like an early climax to the game, like they thought their game was ending here and they didn't get the full script for the movie or something. Or maybe they just wanted your first visit to Castle Frankenstein to be really important. But even the visit to Castle Dracula way later in the game doesn't get this much fanfare. I thought I got them all, but there is one gargoyle stuck behind this carriage. Or inside it, rather. Which is a shame. But we still got to take it out one way or another. After that fight, you could just head inside, which I think is what most sane people would probably do. But if you come over here and explore past these carriages, you'll eventually find that there's another gargoyle that spawns above this one. No. You'll eventually find that there's another half-life increaser in the second section of the courtyard. And I am determined to find as many of these as possible. They're really the only collectible besides cheat glyphs, which are what they sound like. They're cheat codes, but the game gives them to you. And hey, our health bar is now officially at the halfway point. A lot more gargoyles spawn in this second section of the courtyard. You don't have to fight them, you can just continue onward. But you didn't have to fight the first group either. 
The only reason to fight enemies that you don't have to is if you want the power glyphs to upgrade Van Helsing. And we do want those because we want the health upgrades. Everything else can just wait. And by wait, I mean we're probably not going to buy any other upgrades besides health upgrades and that one grapple upgrade I mentioned earlier. Because this game isn't that long and you don't have enough, uh, enough time to get all the power glyphs to buy every upgrade. Alright, that's finally all of the gargoyles done for. I don't think that's the last time we're going to see gargoyles, though. Let's actually get inside Castle Frankenstein. These things are stun-locking hell monsters. They are just the worst, but for now they're not so bad because they only have one of their weapon types. They only have their spears right now. And the only attack they do with their spears that you need to worry about is the one where they charge straight at you, but dodging backwards gets you out of that just fine. The crossbow is the easiest weapon to deal with them right now because it deals the most damage quickly. Your pistols are a good secondary, but why would you even use them when you have the crossbow? So the spear variation of this enemy type we're fighting right now isn't so bad, but this is an enemy type that comes in multiple variations, and the other ones are pretty brutal. But that's it for now, so let's uh, let's go exploring. Only one of the doors up here can actually be opened right now, and it's the one on our left. The one on our right will open with, uh, well, the same way we open all the doors, by finding something specific to poke at. Another library. This one does not contain any references to Castlevania, but it does contain another hole for us to shoot with our crossbow. After we shoot it, a door activates, and more of these horrible creatures appear. We only have a fraction of the room to move in here, but this room is still nothing compared to what we're going to be seeing later in the level, and the enemies in here aren't that numerous. You don't even need to fight them, you could just leave at any time, but we want those power glyphs. In order to leave the room, we have to double jump back up here. We can't just use the door on the bottom floor because it's busted. And now the door on the right side of this room is open, and we can swing over to it. There was no edit there, that was an absolutely silky smooth transition. In this room, there is our alternate shotgun fire, which is something we desperately want, but there's also a ton more of these little suckers. And unlike the last couple rooms, where we at least had some room to move, there's almost no room to move, and they can hide in between these pillars to avoid our fire. And let's not forget that now, instead of just spears, some of them have throwing axes, grenades, and even guns of their own. The ideal way to deal with this is to lure as many of them over here as possible, run back up the steps, and jump over the other side of the railing, so you can quickly grab the alternate shotgun fire and then leave. Of course, if you lose over half your health, you might want to get that back. If there is a good thing to say about these little suckers, it's that they drop large amounts of health fairly frequently, and the best way to mine them for health is to stay near the staircase and walk up and down it as you fire at them. I would say that you might run out of them before you manage to get your health back up, but that's not likely. There's just so many. Alright, let's get out of here. We're back in the foyer, and, uh, well, it's mostly the same as last time, except now these guys have their new weapons. So standing on the table the whole time isn't going to work. But you still have a lot more room to move here than you have in the previous two rooms, so there's nothing too bad to complain about. After you finish them off, you want to come over here and use your alt shotgun fire on this door, because nothing else will open it. And then let's go deeper into the castle. 
In these two hallways, there's nothing but skeletons. Oh, sorry, fell spirits. So just pull out your shotgun and make your way to the exit. Just ignore these guys. See you around. This room is pretty damn difficult. The exit is to our left. But it can be a little hard to even get over there with all these guys in the way. In this room, enemies spawn right near the exit, but they also spawn on the far right of the room. Which traps you in this upper corner over here. Or it traps you in the center. You pick one. Both are equally bad. Because the enemies all have projectiles now, you're gonna take loads of damage no matter what you do. I would recommend simply staying in the center long enough to draw all of the enemies towards you and then making your way toward the exit ASAP. There's just so much shit flying at you at once that it's kind of ridiculous. I'm sure you could get around it all if you spent more time evading than you did attacking, but that's really hard for me to do. So instead you get to watch Van Helsing get knocked around like a pinball. The enemies in this area take forever to spawn, so I always just run straight to the elevator inside of this shack instead of bothering with them. It's their loss. This is just another couple of hallways with fell spirits in them, so get your shotgun out as usual. And if you don't want to bother fighting them, just retreat straight toward the exit. It's not like you won't have your hands full in a second, so you know, you might as well, uh, might as well take your breathers where you can get them. In this room, there are a bunch of enemies bunched up in a tiny hallway on the opposite side of this pit, and you're bunched up in a tiny hallway on this side of this pit. And the enemies also have projectiles just like you do. Strafing back and forth along the tiny passageway seems to be the best solution. There is a single one of them that spawns behind you, and he can be a real hassle to deal with because you can only aim one direction at a time, of course. I have yet to find a better method for getting through this room. No matter what I do, I seem to take massive amounts of damage in here. If we come over and examine this machinery, we can see that Van Helsing thinks it's probably important. Either that or the narrator, it's not clear which. This room is the worst room. There's a very tiny, tiny circle around that big platform in the middle that you have to move with, which is no room to dodge at all. You have enemies with projectiles and enemies that can charge at you, and standing in the middle is a terrible idea. Unless you want to grapple your way to safety. Oh hey look, it's terrifying baby monsters. The best way to deal with them is with our crossbow. To evade them, you want to quickly move from one end of the room to the other. That seems to be what works the best. All they really do is swoop at you, which you can evade by dodging backwards, and there's not too many of them, all things considered. They're one of the least threatening enemies you can fight, and they're a welcome break from those tiny stunlocking hell monsters. After you get rid of them all, you want to come to the far end of the room and grapple up to a new weapon. This electric gun is one of the most useless weapons in the game. That's not to say it's without its uses, it is very powerful. But its power comes at an incredibly high cost. We do need it to progress through the game, though.
So nice of you to drop me, my ancient friend. To what do I owe the pleasure? Let me guess. You're here to kill me. I am, and I will. <laughs> I'm sorry. Didn't anyone tell you? I'm already dead. Murdered four and a half centuries ago. Any idea who could have committed the crime? Gabriel? You don't remember, do you? You don't even remember your name. You don't know who I am. You could have picked any name. True. I could have. But you have no way of knowing. Perhaps I don't need to know. Perhaps not. Then again, no one can run from their past, Gabriel. You must face the truth. You are a murderer. No, Dracula, not a murderer. A monster hunter. Brothers once, you and I, in the Holy Order, until you betrayed me. If what you say is true, why? Why would I betray you? Why would any man betray his best friend? Jealousy? Ambition? Love? Love? Someday you too will be cursed by love, as I was. And all your efforts to resurrect it will turn to disgusting mockeries of what you once had, as have mine. Come, my children! Remove this foul excuse of a man from my side! 